Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. This is Spinning with Rice and Cookie. I'm Rice. And I'm Cookie, and today we are playing Donkey Kong Country 2, but we're doing a repeat of last stream <laughs> because um, as I, I briefed Rice before we started the stream today, because I had accidentally overwrote our save file with like a save state because Argus is like back things up with save state. I didn't know I was gonna overwrite what happened with Granny because I accidentally loaded the previous save state instead of saving a new one. So we are repeating what we did last time, but theoretically we are pros now. So hopefully- Cookie's a pro. She was, she was doing it all. Oh, it was this level. Mm. I forgot. Okay. So actually, this is even further back than what I thought. What? Yeah, because remember this... I'm pretty sure last time we streamed... No! Oh, I messed up. It's possible you're loading two weeks ago. I think this is two weeks ago. Okay, so hit, hit the shoulder button. Hang on, hang on. We can... Yeah, load, load the same point. Okay, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's... Oh, the B and A buttons? Yeah, the B and A buttons, they drive me crazy. Well, slot two, that, that one... Okay, so this is from last... Yeah, I saved that before you guys started last week. This is before we started last week. Okay. Take two. Oh, perfect, so then we're here. Do you want to farm lives? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm super sorry about everything. <laughs> it's yeah, a little bit... well, that's okay. Honestly, this is very fitting because Groundhog Day was just on... Uh, what, this past Tuesday it was Groundhog Day? Or Monday? Um, Tuesday. I don't know. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, we watched Groundhog Day. Um. Did you? Nice. Yeah. And, um, one of my favorite lines in the movie is, um, you know, he, it's like the very first day that he's like repeating the first time. And so he's like, it's Groundhog Day again like you know how and he doesn't understand it but i just wanted to say that um for uploading our donkey kong country 2 videos on youtube i've been re i've been titling these as a new playlist of uh twinning in donkey kong country 2 again because uh we had already done it before <laughs> nice so um a little bit of groundhog day in there for you <laughs> Yeah, it's been ages since I've seen that movie. We watch it most Groundhog Days. Like, sometimes we just, like, have it on while we're going to sleep. Because, I mean, we've seen it a number of times now. Mm hmm Yeah, I think I've seen it maybe three times. I mean, he not... just, like, is so... He gets so grumpy in the movie. I know. He's, like, so it's not, like... A, not a good guy, you know? I mean, by the end yeah, so he is, but... Doesn't really encourage me to watch. I just, I don't like it when he's, like, suicidal. Mm-hmm. I still can't... Did you, There's... um... Sorry, for this level, did you hold your jump button when you bounced off the, the uh, crocs? At the one part, um, you should no. you should practice your holding the jump button. It's gonna come in handy when we're the snake later. Okay. Um, I was gonna say there's a movie similar to Groundhog Day, only it's called Palm Springs, and it's got Andy Samberg in it. And um, basically, he goes to this wedding, and he's thrown in this loop of you know doing the same day every day. Um, and I, I thought it was good. Um, you liked, uh, you saw Egypt Tomorrow also, right? Yes. Because that one's also yeah, we, like Groundhog Day. We actually own that one. Oh, we, um, we saw that one at the drive-in movie theater. Um, okay. I don't, because, I mean, it was always like, there were two Tom Cruise movies that we watched where it was like, it was on before the movie that we meant to go see, you know, like... Because we were really aiming to just see the other movie, so I don't remember what the movie was that we even wanted to see. Um, but Frozen Fury's here. Um, Hi, Frozen saying, Fury. Saying, hey, there are awesome ones. The movies? The, or, like, Tom Cruise movies in general? Or, like, Edge of Tomorrow specifically? Um, but, because the other one we saw was Oblivion. 
um, that was- I've never seen that. It's, um, it's interesting. I think, um, he's kind of like a patroller where, like, he has, like, these boundaries he's supposed to patrol. You're not really told much about it because it's, like, a futuristic society. Oh, he's saying that we're awesome. That's what he means. Oh, well, thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, Thanks, Frozen Fury. That's nice. I, you know, I had already explained that, um, we have to repeat everything that we did last stream because I, I messed up with saving, so... Not that awesome. Yeah so, <laughs> yeah, so we were just saying how this stream is like Groundhog's Day, because or Groundhog Day, because it's what we did last week. Yeah. And then they got us into a whole loop because we were talking about Groundhog Day, the movie, <laughs> and all of the other movies that are like Groundhog Day. Uh, but yeah. So here we are. Yeah. And the Groundhog said six more weeks of winter. But what does he say? Surprise. What's he say the other way? Does he just say, like... Spring will come early this year. I don't... <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. It's... It's kind of silly. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's definitely... Definitely a silly thing. But, uh, that's all right. Tradition. Yeah, there's, there's the local groundhogs, too. Yeah. Dunkirk Dave. Did you know that Punxsutawney... Punxsutawney, like the town, is not far from where we grew up. Um, we went there once. Did we? I don't remember not for, that. For Groundhog Day, um, mm -hmm. we went. Um, I think it was like after a swim meet, we swung by Punxsutawney because we're like, why not? I see. And by we, I mean it was like probably our dad's idea yeah i don't remember going at all i didn't realize being, it was close being a kid i wouldn't have thought oh yeah punk tani yeah um uh, yeah i don't know exactly where it is but yeah i, knew I it mean wasn't that far away yeah i want to say like we mapped it out and it's only like maybe an hour and a half away from where our parents live um okay yeah, so, not that, like, I don't really have a desire to go, but honestly, though, watching the movie, it's like, it would be kind of cool to go. Although, I think it's actually filmed somewhere different. Oh, really? I think so, but I'm, I'm not totally sure. Um, and Frozen Fury wished that uh, he gamed with his siblings. Mm. It's nice. Are they just not into playing video games? I mean, really, yeah, our older sister's, she's not too much into... Uh, video games. Mm. So, Frozen Fury says that their, uh, their full-blooded sister despises games now because of her previous marriage. That's, oh. that's really sad. Yeah, that is I sad. Could, I will say I could understand it because, so, like, I don't play, like, I don't spend that much time playing video games, but Argus does, and I could see, like, if I wasn't into gaming or, like, if I was less into it, I, I could get frustrated with him playing games all the time. <laughs> I, I could see that. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> it's also one of those things where I feel like, I mean, not to get into, like, gender issues, but the fact that, like, in general, like, for my apartment, like, in my family of just me and Argus, I'm like always the one cooking and then like if he's just sitting there playing video games, it does feel very one-sided and unfair. I have expressed this kind of thing and you know, we are working on it too. today. He's helping in the kitchen now, I force him to. But the goal <laughs> is that he's gonna transition to doing more like being head chef, but right now he's pretty much just like, he's the chopper guy, so. Okay, see, I do a lot of the chopping and see Tiger kind of stirs it around. A bit. Um, he chops sometimes too, and then he washes a lot of dishes too. Yeah. Um, but Frozen Fury's other siblings have grown up, you know, or they don't really associate uh, with him enough to game with him. Um, gotcha. But maybe one of them could do PlayStation, but at the moment, uh, he's still waiting to buy a PlayStation Five, which is non-existent. So. Yeah. See, Tiger's trying to buy one. And so basically, um, one of his friends got one. Um, they, like, he had all these, uh, what are they called? Like, the targeted uh, alerts. Okay. You know? So, like, 
Yeah, so he was like on so, the list kind of thing. Yeah, so like, so he, well, no, you just automatically get um, notifications for if it's listed at like a whole bunch of, like he was, he was on these alerts for like so many stores. Wow. Um, and, but anyways, so he ended up getting his PS, PS5 and we were talking to him and he's like, oh, you know, Sea Tiger, I can just, um, you know, stay on the alerts and I'll let you know when they're available. So apparently today, <laughs> so apparently today there was a, there was, Walmart had them. Um, so, so Sea Tiger got the message like 20 minutes before he went on to Walmart. They were gone at the time, but he's like, oh, but in a minute they're going to be back in stock. So then we waited a minute. And then he tried to like put it in his cart, and then he got an error message, and Walmart was like, "Oh, the item you want is out of stock." Um, so, didn't really work out for him. Yeah. Maybe next time. Mhm. Mm an ogre hates to clean but loves to cook. So if you have a third sister, hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> we do have another sister, we... but she is married. <laughs> Yes, she is married, and she also likes to cook, and I'm guessing, uh, not clean. But I could be wrong. I don't know. And Frozen Fury says that we do gaming right together. You just game while socializing. Such a good way to communicate. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and that was partly why, um, why we started streaming, because we're like, oh, like, you know, we didn't play any games together since we were both married, and you know, doing our own thing, so, uh, yeah, so we set up the streaming, and then it gives us a chance to catch up, and then talk to everybody else. Yeah, and also, because at the time, um, our brother was living, like, in Alabama, so, um, since we were in New York, like, we weren't seeing him very often, we're like, well, if we stream, he can always just watch, and, like, you know, he'll at least be up to date with what we're up to. Um, right. And then also our cousins in North Carolina, they watch pretty regularly, and so it's nice to keep in touch with mm -hmm. them, too. Yeah, and actually, we probably have enough lives at this point. Probably. We have 50. Mm-hmm. So, uh, oh. so, yeah, we can start okay. doing the other levels once, once I finish this one. Okay. And uh, Frozen Fury says, single for life, and he's cueing the sad violin song. Oh, that's not necessarily <laughs> true. But he's also laughing about it, so... <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, honestly, I feel like, because sometimes I think about, like, how my life would be different if I was single. Honestly, I don't think me and Rice would be streaming, because we probably wouldn't have the technical capacity to get it done. Um, but also, oh, I feel goodness. like... Oh my can't time it. Things would be a lot quieter. Like, Argus likes to have the TV on and stuff. And I'm not saying it'd be better with it quieter. I'm just saying it'd be different. Um, but, like, you know, when you are by yourself, you can really just have things be exactly how you want them to be. So, you know, just gotta embrace it. And Frozen Fury says, laughing in sadness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you'll find someone. As I said, you know, just... Do, do your the own online thing. dating thing. Yeah. I had said I had said that if uh, Sea Tiger and I didn't work out, I was totally gonna do at the time I was gonna do match.com. If I were to like go on the dating scene now, I'm not even sure which one I would do. <laughs> Maybe hinge. Maybe bumble. I don't know. But and I was kind of like I thought it would be kind of fun to do the whole online dating <laughs> thing. I feel like I kinda of missed out a little bit. Like yeah. Just no, no, no. I mean, like it's a whole experience that I didn't get to do, you know. Um, Ogre Ogre says if you could choose, what would be your dream place to live? And Frozen Fury says that they've learned a lot from the past, so um, they're not getting with someone unless they have the same passions as me. Yes, that's a good way to go. That's don't key. settle. Nope. Um, yeah. And my dream place to live. I may have to think on that. A like. Dream place, like, just strictly climate-wise, or, like... I think everything-wise. Everything-wise? Well, it would have to be, um, you know, I want those, uh... I want more socialism in my life, so... <laughs> I think, um, it would have to be... I want universal health care. I want 
So I think for me, that already like narrows it down to like, Canada. maybe Canada, maybe, um, I was gonna say maybe like Denmark. I don't really know I've much about it. Denmark, but it seems like no, I like Denmark that. Sorry, really go ahead. bike friendly. I, I like that um, it's, it's part of mainland Europe. So I think that's nice. You can, I'm sure just take a train and go like anywhere. And I mean, as I said, but it's also like Scandinavian, right? So then it would have like a lot of mm -hmm. those um, socialistic uh, benefits. So yeah, I'm gonna, I've heard I'm gonna that, go Denmark. I've heard that the Scandinavian countries, uh, they always like rank really high in happiness scales. Um, domestically, I'm just such a New York girl. <laughs> I know. I feel like um, for staying in the country, I'd want to just stay in New York. Well, because I was actually thinking about it the other day because I'm like, you know, one of my podcasts kind of made me think about it. And I was like, where would I? Because like, I was thinking about like my hobbies and stuff. Um, oh, wait, let me um, read some of these real quick. Um, Frozen Fury says, tough question to answer because we don't really know how it'd be to live and anywhere else we haven't lived before right it's true um because something might sound great but then you actually move there and go and it's not what you expected and ogre says denmark got free weed i see what you want no oh, no i don't <laughs> care about that at all or not, not free legal it's legal here too i think right um, Europe is legal. i think it's if it's not it's going to be really soon yeah um yeah, so one of my podcasts was talking about it one day. Um, nice. Uh, um, so I was thinking like domestically where I would want to live because I'm like, what do I like to do? I'm like, I like to go golfing. I like, but I, but I'm like, but I also like like winter activities. So it's like, you know, I'd still want to live somewhere with winter. Mm -hmm. And I like doing triathlons. So like I was kind of thinking like Michigan, but then it's like, well, what does Michigan have that New York doesn't? Nothing. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. For the longest time, I thought Michigan was like the place to be. I, Except maybe sand dunes. They've got sand dunes there, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like. I do think Michigan. If I wasn't living in New York State, I think maybe I would pick Michigan. Um, but I'm like New York's not perfect either. Um, Oh no! But I've never done this part. No, <sighs> I've never gotten that far. <laughs> Good job. Um, but yeah, so then internationally, I think Denmark is a good pick. <laughs> um, I, I like. I think being more in mainland. Europe would be cool because then you can travel more. You can just hop on the train. Mm hmm. Um, so maybe like Germany or France. That'd be cool. Um, Frozen Fury would enjoy weed, but can't take it because of the medicine he uses and his heart condition. Mm. Gotcha. Um, supra, supraventricular oh. tech cardia SVT for short I did not know such a thing existed and I have no idea what it what that is but I can you know understand heart condition and have a decent idea of you know what it is um, but can still enjoy a beer or two from time to time but honestly like do you really enjoy the beer because um, I, I don't like the taste of beer so to me it's like I've never had I've never enjoyed a beer in my life me neither. Oh, I forgot about this part. You got this. You got this. You're doing great. And just leave that B oh B. Oh yeah, I've I've been there. <laughs> it's been it's been so long since I've used the spider. Mm-hmm. That's it for the spider. That's like nothing. <laughs> I'm actually pulling my weight this time, Cookie. I know, look at you. That was really good. Um, and Frozen Fury says, it's 
uh, it's like Smirnoff Ice. What is? The, uh, the beer, I think, that he likes. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I, uh, well, so, on my Christmas list, I had asked for, I had asked for a whole bunch of sour beers, because I think that's the only kind of beer that I could actually like, and so I wanted to try a whole bunch of the, like, the local breweries kinds of sours, and I was really kind of, oh, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna save. Good idea, yeah. Oh, should I save? No, I can save. I mean, I may as well save down at the sh pirate ship, because then I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if anything goes wrong, we can always just get more lives, you know, like, on, you know, another go. Um, Red's apple is good, too, I guess. Yeah, I've had I've had Red's apple. Um, but, uh, yeah, so anyways, I was really kind of looking forward to trying all these sour beers, and then I didn't get them. Well, Rice, I, I know I've told you I have a sour beer in my fridge because one of my friends, yes. when he visited, he, he bought sour beer and then he left one. So I will bring that over to you when I go see you to like, um, I've got a couple things I got to drop off to you. Oh, I forgot about these. Yeah, duh. Yeah, I, I forgot about it too. Um, um, yeah, I was, I was going to say, so, but what, what I did get... Um, because one of the oh other things gosh. I put... <laughs> Sorry. I That's didn't okay. Um, but one of the, one of the first times that, or one of the other things that I had asked for for Christmas that I got, like, cash that I could use towards this item, I ended up buying, and I actually like it so far. So I asked for a gift card to this local kombucha place. And, oh, darn it. Um, and so I bought a four pack because Are I'm like, well, me? I don't know. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to really like it enough to like buy a big growler, you know? Uh, so yeah, so I bought the four like variety pack and I've only tried one so far, but it was a turmeric, like a turmeric, black pepper and ginger flavor. So it like sounded weird, but like it was actually quite good. And the thing with kombucha, I, I'm not sure if you knew cookie, is that like usually it has some alcohol in it. Okay, it's I didn't an know. Content. So it's kind of, um, I guess, more like a beer, and I think more like a level of beer or a level of um, alcohol that beer has. So I didn't taste any alcohol in it, so I don't know. But I, I actually thought it was good, and I would maybe even say I might prefer it to cider. Oh. You know, I guess I didn't realize... Um, maybe, maybe that's a bit bold. I guess I thought kombucha... Okay, so I guess maybe I'm just really wrong on what kombucha even is. I had thought it was kind of like... Um, like a yogurt drink thing. Somehow I thought it was related to no, that's yogurt. Ka that's, that's kefir. That is kefir. But somehow I thought kombucha was like so the same. <laughs> no, kombucha is... Um, it's a fermented tea. So basically you take tea um, and you add, it's called a SCOBY and it's like a bacteria yeast uh, grouping mm -hmm. I guess you could, mixture. Um, yeah, so you have the SCOBY and you mix it with the tea and then you just let it ferment. And um, But you, you have to do something else, like something with uh, temperature and it, because I looked into it today, I'm like, maybe I should make my own kombucha. Uh, but it seems like it'd be a little too annoying to make. Um, and Ogre, uh, Ogre had said this a while ago, but didn't oh, say it till now. Go, um, go. The, uh... Ogre, I'm not sure which drink you're talking about. Are you talking about the, uh, the Reds Apple Ale? Because he says whiskey or champagne tasted pretty horrible too the first time. Oh. Oh, just like any drink. Okay, got it. So, Ogre's oh, saying you gotta drink more beer until you actually start liking it. <sighs> I really don't think I'll ever uh, like it. I know, um, I had gone to um, Oregon for a wedding, and one of the like pre wedding activities was like to do, it's kind of like the Amazing Race where you like go to all these destinations. 
destinations like within um, the bride's hometown to like do these little activities. Um, and so one of the activities was like, oh, the craft beer scene is really big in this area. And so you had to go to a brewery, brewery and everyone on the team had to drink f like a flight of beer. And I didn't bring my ID with me because, you know, I was like, you know, this is an, an you know, like adventure thing. I'm like, why do I need my wallet? So, um, so I didn't bring it. And then, um, so I was like, oh, well, I can't have any. But then everyone else on my team was like working on their flights. And I was like, well, you know, like clearly I'm older than um, 21. So I would, you know, I just, I would have like, you know, one sample from someone. I drank a sample from someone else. So I had three of the samples. They all tasted bad, but you know, I was like, it's a race. So I was, you know, like really putting them down. <laughs> yeah, the only time that I ever really drank beer was when I was playing beer pong. And then anytime I had to drink it, I was just like, ugh, this is nasty. Yeah. And Frozen Fury said uh, a while back, getting nine butts kicked and 69 bananas. Mm. Well, that's not the case anymore. Nope. <laughs> Ogre says, come on, Cookie, drink more beer. <laughs> I will you say, try, I'm... You should try I, some kombucha. It's no, better. I want to try um, the mead place, because there's a mead oh, place right. locally. And so I've I bought a couple of their meads, but sadly, so we only had one of them. Because the other one, we can't open the bottle, because so we don't have a bottle opener. And we use you don't my... Have a bottle opener? No, because... <laughs> Cause like how often do we ever need it? So we um we use my there's like a bottle like a corkscrew on the um on my pocket knife. So we usually use that, but then like it didn't work on this one. It was like really in there. So we need to get a good bottle opener first, and then we can open oh. up the mead. You're talking like okay when you said bottle opener, I was thinking like just the the thing that you can use on oh like, no glass bottle. no 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 like a like cork. Wine. Yeah, okay. like a cork. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, no, we, we just, we have like a regular, well, no, I mean, I don't use the, uh, I, I, I mean, we have a proper corkscrew, so we don't just use the one from the pocket knife. <laughs> yeah, we use the one from the pocket knife. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I want to try more mead from this place, and you can get like a flight of mead. Um, but the thing is, it's like, I haven't gone COVID. there. Yeah, not during COVID, exactly. And the only time I went there was actually like at the very beginning of COVID. Cause I'm like, well, I wanted to try this place. So I'll just get a couple bottles. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think cider is probably my drink of choice. Gotta try more of this kombucha though. They have a couple flavors that sounded really good. Like they have this tart cherry vanilla. That does sound that good. That sounded amazing. Thing. I also have a chai cider flavor. There's a chai um, mead at the mead place. Oh yeah? And I thought it sounded good. That does sound good. But yeah, oh, I want to go and get a flight. They also have a, like a grape something or other flavor. But the thing is they don't have that in cans. Cause like, they have some on tap, and then they have some in cans, and since I was only buying cans, you know, it makes some unavailable. But they had a grape one available in, like, on tap, and they also had a, a passion fruit one, and I think they had some other one, too, that I thought sounded really good. So I was like, you know, if ever I had company, because it's expensive, um... So if ever I had company over and, you know, they wanted to try kombucha, I'd be like, oh, well, I'll pick some up and, you know, we can try this flavor. Ah, I did it! Nice! <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I would consider picking it up like that. I don't think I would ever, you know, just buy a whole bunch for myself because, you know, I, I don't need it. Yeah. Which, you know, so when I do eventually get to go to Japan, um, my original trip was scheduled for June this past year, so whenever I do get to go, I do plan to get some, uh, sake, sake, I don't even know oh, how yeah. to say it, but I plan to get some, and I'll, I'll let you know what I think. I feel like everyone said sake. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. 
Um, I pronounce everything Arch. wrong. So, uh, so who knows? But you know, Rice, I, yep. I want to tell you that I'm really planning for the next decade, you know, the 2020, uh, yeah, 2020s. I want to do more traveling. I was looking back at the 2010s yeah. and I was like, why did I not like, you know, go somewhere internationally, like more, I should have done more. And I'm just mad at myself. Um, and so, yeah, I, I want to be able to travel more, but it very much depends on, um, you know, COVID at the okay. moment. But I was going to say, though, if like, because I don't really know exactly what my priorities are other than uh, Japan and England at this point. Um, but I know we still have to go to Kenya together. And also, if you wanted to go to Slovenia, too, like I'm totally game for that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm game for a lot of places, honestly. So, <laughs> I'm also I'm also interested in um, Italy and me too. Montenegro. Um, and yeah, you know, I would be up for going to um, the uh, Southeast Asia. Honestly, like I would go back. I would definitely go back. But like the thing is, I mean, I've I've gone over the Pacific, and it's just like a really long flight. So, uh, that's kind of like a big deterrent in my mind. I see. But yeah, I I would totally be down for more more travel. I was really looking forward to the Netherlands. Mm-hmm had a really nice plan uh, but yeah it didn't didn't quite work out yeah maybe uh, who knows maybe spring 2022 maybe because the whole reason for going in the spring was, you know, for the, the flowers. Yeah. I'd be okay with going any other time, too. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I was going to ask you if you had um, any interest in going to Japan, because... Um, yeah, because at the time, I didn't have enough vacation. Right. And I just thought, you know, especially if our cousins are, you know, still planning to go, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I would have to think about it, I think. Because, again, it's over the Pacific. It's a long flight. I play. know. <laughs> Wayfush is here. Hi, Wayfush. Wayfush, hi. I was just talking about you in Japan. <laughs> Ooh. But, yeah, I would, I would definitely consider it. I think, though, at this point, like, I'm more interested in going... Um, back to Europe because it's been... Oh gosh, it got me. Um, get me, get me. It's because... What? I don't know what happened to you. Well, you, you never got me from the... I'm not dead? No, no, just your controls are backwards. No, I'm just slow. Oh, was that the problem? So yeah. I know one of them makes your everything backwards. Oh, maybe, maybe it's the it's purple maybe one. Maybe this purple one. Oh no. Yep. Just yeah, you can do it. Oh, what? Where where was the the cannon? I didn't see I didn't see the cannon. I didn't see the cannon either. Well, that was bogus. <laughs> yeah, I would totally be down to travel more. But yeah, I feel like... I mean, even once I get vaccinated, you know, you can still be a... They, they don't know if you can still carry it and then infect other people, so it's like... Uh, Sea Tiger yelled from the other room, you can. Yeah. Um, so, like, I probably wouldn't want to travel until 
wherever I was traveling, everybody had been vaccinated. Well, I know, and that's the thing, because, and then also, like, so, not all countries are gonna have access to a vaccine, like, you know, for a while, so, um, so that's the thing. I do think that my, you know, my travel ambitions for 2021, not 2021, for the 2020s, is gonna be very dependent on, like, my country selection will be very dependent on what is accepting travelers and which places have vaccines. Right. But you know, maybe that's what I need is um, just some process of elimination in my, <laughs> In my decision right. making. That'll that'll help you decide. Yeah. I'm no, so sorry. Not. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and Skeleton's here. He says ghosty and howdy. Oh, we haven't seen the ghosts uh, you know, not for the past couple tries. But you know, um Skeleton and Wayfush, you guys missed um I had accidentally, like, pretty much canceled all the progress we made last stream, and so we had to re-beat the last two levels. So, but we did it way faster. See, that's how you know that we're actually getting better at this game. <laughs> or just that we know the levels pretty well by now. No! Oh. Ah. oh, Ghosty was a typo. Oh, I thought it was ghosty, um, you know, like the, the purple ghosts and the blue ghosts. Yeah, no, it was supposed to be howdy. Oh, okay. I like ghosty. <laughs> <laughs> ghosty. Yeah, so we'll just have to see. I mean, maybe, like, I'd hate to say it, but, like, hopefully we can travel before, like, 2022. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Yeah, I mean, ideally, like, I mean, I don't... I'm gonna just rule 2021. Yeah, I'm gonna rule 2021 out. Probably 20, 2022. Yeah, I, I believe that. I also think, um, cause maybe, cause it might affect like what, um, I guess like what trips I do first kind of thing. Cause um, certain trips, it's like, it's more about being outdoors and like doing stuff in the country, you know, like, Right. Like for Kenya, it's more about being outside and seeing the animals and um, and then like, because I would like to go to Peru someday, like see Machu Picchu. That's like all mm -hmm. outside. So I feel like there's things that um, are probably lower risk. So it's like maybe those things just move up in, <clears throat> in my uh, priority. But oh I, my gosh. But I feel yes. like somewhere like, I feel like Peru, what just happened? Okay. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe I feel like um, Peru might be slower with the whole vaccine thing. That's possible. I think Norway honestly might move up really mm -hmm. high on my list because I do want to go and like do a bunch of hiking there. And um, like I'm sure there's some cool stuff to do indoors, but also if they're gonna be like, you know, better with like earlier gain vaccines and stuff. Yeah, I would think Norway. I would guess at least. I would think they would be fairly quick on vaccines, and I would also think that, I mean, you would, it, it's so remote, and I think you would be doing so much more, yeah. you know, in nature, that I would, I would think that that probably would be a good place to go. You know, so long as they were accepting people. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the other thing. They may not want you. I know, there's so many places right now that don't want any Americans. <clears throat> Oh, and also Skelting said that he was glad that you rolled with Ghosty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that your hair is... Oh, my hair is longer? Yeah, no, it's, um... I mean, it's not, like, super long, but... I mean, I just always put it up because it's... It gets in the way. Also, I don't know if you've had this problem, Cookie, but, uh... It's, it's so dry. Like, the air is so dry. Oh, um, gosh where I am that you keep know. going so high up there yeah um, the air is so dry that my hair just becomes so staticky I actually haven't had that issue which is surprising um, oh that is I know I like <clears throat> as a person I am staticky because um, it's like I'll go and pet cat and then we shock each other um, but yeah 
I don't like these bees. They're not bees, they're cannons with spikes. They're totally bees. They're... they're not... <laughs> they're bee cannonballs. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Alright, good, you can get me. Oh, what? Oh, man. <laughs> Well, you're better at this part anyways. Just watch out, because he turns invisible. I know, that's the thing that always gets me. He's invisible. There we go. <laughs> I helicoptered just to play it safe. Mm -hmm. And Skeleton says you're a staticky person, huh? Yes. Yeah, I am. I mean, Ripley and I shock each other all the time. So she's like super static -y all like she's a static queen. You know what? Um cat drank out of my glass of <gasps> No no no, I walked right into him. Oh my gosh. Um but yeah, cat drank out of my water again. Like I left it on the coffee table and she stuck her face right yes. in there and got it. So um so yeah, now I'm using, because I was using my my uh, streaming mug, but now I'm using yours. Oh. Nice. But I think maybe what the problem is with cat is, um, I had read before that sometimes cats don't want their food and water right next to each other, because um, they're weird hmm. like that. So we're going to try moving her water and see if uh, she likes that better. That is weird. Mm-hmm. No. It was so close. Ah. Uh, Skeleton says that cats are so picky. They are really picky. Ah. Let's pretend that one didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, eventually we're gonna get it. <laughs> oh, um, I already told Rice earlier today. But um, my big brother's big sister's application is moving forward, and I finally met my little. So, um, I mean, I don't, I haven't scheduled like an actual meeting with her yet, but I'm pretty excited. She seems like super nice. I'm excited for <laughs> you. Cause it's been a long time. It has. I don't know when I even started my application, but it's definitely like during COVID, but it was like, maybe it was during the summer. I feel like it was maybe August or September. You think it was that late? I'd have to see know. when, um, so now I was watching the first season of, um, Tough as Nails when I applied. Oh, maybe it was like late spring then. Yeah, I, gosh, those always get me. Um. It's been a while, because I had, um, cause I was watching the show with one of my friends, and I, you know, I asked her to be a reference while we were watching it one day. I think I know there were other things I was going to talk to you about. I mean, I went snowshoeing over the weekend. Um, no, embracing the winter, like Rice said, uh, she wants to. Yeah, we didn't. Um, we did not snowshoe last weekend. Um, I was thinking that maybe we would this weekend, but we'll see. Depends on. Uh, the weather. Because mm -hmm. I had heard that we were going to get lake effect snow, and I'm like, well, if it's going to be bad, like, I don't know how bad it's going to be. Like, I don't want to be 
like out there. I don't there. want to drive. I don't want to drive in it, and then I don't want to be out there in it, and then have to come back to the car and brush the car off. Uh, you know, it would ideally be a day where it's not actually snowing. Right. But yeah, I, I don't know. So it depends on what the weather's gonna do. I was trying to think about where I would want to oh. go too. You know, I actually meant to tell you, um, so after I went snowshoeing, I went to a tea shop that um, is oh, like a loose yeah. leaf tea shop. They had an amazing selection of tea and it's mm. like all loose leaf. Um, and so they had all these like samples that you could smell them, but like you're supposed to wear your mask while you smell them. But I could not smell a thing through my mask. So I pulled the mask down and like would hold my breath. like. Just make sure I was inhaling and not exhaling. It was like a whole thing. Also, Cookie, just so you know, Skeleton says 80% of Cookie's deaths are the same spiked cannonball. And I, I think know. that's the one. I know. It gets me every single time. It's I. The thing is, I didn't have this problem last week. It just started today. I don't... I don't know. It's Now it's like psyched me out permanently. I've got to like get over this mental barrier. Well, you can you can do it. Anyways, I got um, three kinds of tea. I was only planning to get two, but then I just couldn't decide, so I got three. Um, and I would- I still, I still have- Sorry. I would love to have a tea party with you and we can just share all my tea. And I mean, mm. again, after we're at least, you know, both vaccinated or something. Yeah. Well, I still have tons of tea because, so for Christmas, I asked for this one kind of tea, and um, and our dad was in charge of buying the gifts this year because he's retired, so our mom was like, you take care of the gifts. So what does he do but buys me the most giant bag of tea, and I'm like, dad, this is tons of tea. So he's like, well, I'll share it with people, so I gave Cookie some. But it's like plain tea, that doesn't count as like, you know... Because you, you yeah, got it specifically it's... for matcha, or not matcha, um... Masala. Ma yeah. Um, but yeah, so, the thing is, I haven't made it recently because the masala mix I have, it kind of, um, it leaves, like, the spice residue on the bottom, or, like, lots of spice once you finish your tea, and it's like, I don't want that. So what I'm going to try and do is when I'm steeping the leaves, I'm going to try steeping the masala mix, too. That's a good idea. Um, so I was going to try... I, I thought about this idea today as I was making tea. So I'm like, well, I'll try it tomorrow. So tomorrow it'll be a good day because I'm going to try some of this, this masala tea. Um, it should be good. I hope make it goes this, well. Make all that black tea a little more exciting. I've had um I, I would love to share the kombucha with you, but you know, we're never together and um, But maybe when I come up to um drop off that sour beer. Oh maybe we could split one. Yeah. Or I could give you at least a sip. Yeah. But yeah, I I've got high hopes for that tart cherry vanilla. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, don't let that one get you. Oh my gosh. As a different one, but same height. Same height. I just like, I don't know. It'll get better. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I highly it, recommend oh. that tea shop though. Like you should definitely go. Maybe once I finish some of my other teas. Um. So last weekend we tried one of the board games that, I mean, I guess I already told you, Cookie. Um, one of the board games that Sea Tiger got for Christmas, so it's called Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. And basically it's like, you have a character like you would in D&D, &D, um, but you have like a little board that you have to move your character across. And it reminded me of one of the games that Dr. Waffle had us play once. I don't know if you remember it. Um, um, can you describe it? Well, basically, like, there's all these enemies on the board, oh. and you have this... Sorry, keep going. And you have this, like, you know, this map that you can move, and, like, 
you can interact with the map. Like if there's an obstacle, you can break the obstacle. If there's, um, but there's also like traps that can hurt you, and you want to avoid those. But basically, like you deal damage to the bad guys, and then they can deal damage to you. Um, but it's a like a co-op based game, and so basically, it to me, well, it seems like there's a, um, I mean, there's a story. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so yeah, so there's a story that you kind of like follow as you're playing this game. And so see, so you and I are playing through it with just the two of us. Um, but we were saying that maybe like once the pandemic's over, maybe you could play with you and Argus or you and Dr. Waffle. All right, that sounds good. It's, I, I like my character. I'm a demolitionist. Okay, that sounds fun. Yeah. So I blow things up. Yeah. Um, I thought of uh, another thing I did over this weekend. On Sunday, I worked on my movie a little bit. Did you? Yes. So, um, you know. Is it ready? No. So me and Argus reassessed, you know, where it's at, what needs to be done. So we have a written list of all the things. It's mostly things Argus has to do, but having watched through the movie numerous times on Sunday, you know, it's only like six minutes. I was wrong, it's not even 10. Um, <laughs> I know all this work for just a six minute movie. <laughs> um, anyways, okay. so I, there's a couple things I want to refilm. Um, not with you, oh, just no, no just oh, my good. stuff. Yeah, you're you're in the clear. You were great. You're clearly a professional. Um, <laughs> so there's a couple things I want to redo, um, and I actually changed the order of a couple things, and I think I made it better. Maybe I I honestly don't know at this point. Like, who knows? Um, but I think with the changes that we're planning to make, I think it's gonna be you know a good deal better. So. That's good. Yeah. I don't know why this one takes me out so much. I can jump higher than it. What happens? Did you? Oh, okay. Darn it. It just threw me off every <clears throat> time. <laughs> Acting career? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but I think, um, because growing up in the movies that we made, Rice seems to be the main character more often than anyone. Um... <sighs> And so I think that it, you know, it did help her with her acting. I'm definitely worse. No, I think it was maybe more that like no one else wanted it. And so I was just like, well, someone has to be the main character. Right, yeah, like you didn't seek it out. Um, yeah. It wasn't a camera hog. No. Yeah, so I'm hoping to get that done sometime soon so that we can do our premiere. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you, do you have any um, Super Bowl viewing plans? I do, yeah. Um, so, I mean, me and Argus are going to just stay at home. <laughs> um, we have some snacks, um, like frozen snacks. Um, I'm also going to make chicken wing dip, but um, I make two separate ones, one with jackfruit so that it's vegetarian, and then the other one with meat for Argus. Um, and so for the frozen things, honestly, um, Argus's parents had bought themselves oh. some frozen things, I think for watching um, football, but then they didn't like it, or maybe they just bought too much, I don't know. Um, so they gave us some of, like, one of them's like frozen, um, like little pretzel bites, like soft pretzel. And then I think that might be all we have left, but they also gave us like little like pastry puffs. Like one had like feta cheese and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. um, and so those were good, they're gone now though. Cause we ate them like for some of the earlier football games. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it. Just uh, pretzel bites, the wing dip, and then somehow I thought, I guess we have, um, we do have chili sauce that I made. Mm -hmm. um, chili mm -hmm. sauce with cheese and crackers too. So yeah, yeah we're, I'm pretty excited. We're having, um, 
Well, so I'm gonna make my own pretzel bites. It sounds very um, fancy. But he's he's gonna be invisible. I know. Okay. Um. But uh, yeah. So I'm making my own pretzel bites, and I'm also gonna make a a vegan cheese. And the only reason why I'm making this cheese. Do you just um, have something you want to get rid of? Because, yeah, because I have tons. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe not tons, but I have a fair amount of nutritional yeast. Me too. And I initially, I initially bought it to make this cheese dip, and the cheese dip is good. Um, the thing is, it's like now that, like, you know, I'm eating meat and dairy and stuff. Like, there's no real <gasps> reason for me to have this nutritional yeast. There was yeast. so much sun suction. I couldn't. Run, run for your life. Jump over him, maybe. I don't know where he's gonna be. Okay. Nice. No! No! I feel like that was the end, and I um, I was even gonna try to warn you to jump for early. <laughs> I feel like it was the end too. That's okay. That's okay. We can do it. <laughs> yeah. So, so the whole reason I'm making the cheese dip is to use up the nutritional yeast. Um, but I'm like, I mean, cause so we have this bread machine and Sue so Tiger and I are going to use it to make pizza dough. And then we were talking about bagels the other day because like we don't buy bagels. And it's been a really long time since we've had bagels. We have bagels like um, every weekend. <laughs> So, so you tell you was like, you know, why don't we try making bagels? I'm like, well, that could be a fun experiment. So we're going to do that. And then I don't know if it's because we were talking about that or what, but then he's like, oh, we could also make pretzels for maybe it was just like the fact that we were going to be using the bread machine. But um, and he's like, oh, we can make soft pretzels for the game. And then I was like, well, we're already making that cheese. So that totally makes sense. Um, so that's going to be like, you know, one of the things we make. We're also making... Um, Sea Tiger bought these the little little hot dogs. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna have those probably in barbecue sauce and eat those. Um, I thought there was something else. I made a list of the food that I wanted to eat. Um, oh, I was also considering making um, more hummus just to have you know, something on the healthier side and we can have veggies with it. Mm-hmm. Plus, I love hummus. <laughs> and the one I make is, um, it's a mix of sriracha and, uh, chipotles and adobo. It sounds really good. It, it gives it a really, well, I, I thought it was far enough. Um, it gives it a really nice, like, smoky flavor and it's spicy, but, like, not super spicy because mm -hmm. like this recipe was initially like you use all frank's red hot sauce yeah um and like and that's good but it's just like very overpowering and it's like bam yeah you know chicken wing flavoring um but i i kind of like the subtlety that the sriracha and the chipotles give so like over time i've been modifying it being like oh what if we did half and half of this half and half of that yeah i like that um yeah, so it, it turned out really well. Um, so we were thinking about making that too. So that's our Super Bowl food. Initially with the cheese sauce, we were going to make nachos. But then we started doing pretzel, which we could still do nachos. Yeah, nachos are always good. <laughs> and yeah, so we're making pizza this weekend. Um, I think I'm just, I think it's just going to be like a cheese and pepperoni. Maybe put some bell pepper on it. Um, oh, and we also have olives to put on it. Olives? Which, like, I like Do you like, like olives, olives now? I like olives by themselves, and I like them in salad. Pizza, I'm still, like, not sure if they really add much for my tasting. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. like, so for I'm me, not a fan. Olives, olives can just kind of, you know, I'm fine either way. Does um, Sue Tiger like olives? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I mean, it's possible that like 
I mean, like, I'm starting to like pickles and stuff, so maybe, you know, olives are the next step of, like, old person food that I'm gonna start liking. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like, at least, I don't know that I've really had green olives, but I don't like the black olives. Well, I think, like, I mean, I do think that they're much better when you're just eating them by themselves. Oh, you think? Yeah. Darn it. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Mm, that's a shame. Gotta get the 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 mouse. Yeah, I don't what know was why. That? Well, because I'm using like the pro controller, and so um, I don't know. The mouse just came up for some reason. So I was trying to get it out of the way and play at the same time. It did not work. No, you should have just left it there. I know. Yeah, we're probably not going to. I mean, the Super Bowl goes super late. Oh, does it? it might I go don't to know. Like what? Nine? Nine thirty? I think you can. I don't know what. I don't know what time it even starts. If I'm being honest, it probably it probably starts at like six thirty. I feel like that's usually around when it starts. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we'll stay up for the whole thing. Are you? Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly probably only going to be half watching it because like for me, it's like once yeah. I run out of snacks, I'm like, you know, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. But and plus, you know, the bills aren't even in it anymore. I know. They, if they were, were going to doing... be like, I would actually care and watch if they were going to be in it. Yeah, that would have been like such a cool thing. But I'm rooting for Kansas City, I think. Who else is playing? I don't even know. Tampa Bay. Tom Brady plays for them now. Hmm. Ah, I almost made it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm so sorry. That's okay. <sighs> I mean, it happens. It's a hard part, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kansas City was, uh, they beat the Bills last yeah. week, or two weeks ago, and they were just, like, so solid of a team, and I, darn it, um, and I, I like that, uh, the quarterback's pretty young. But more importantly, if Tom they win, like 40-something. I was gonna say more importantly though, if they win, then it's as if the Bills could have been in the Super Bowl, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why yeah, I'm gonna root for them. Skull team says, I'm not rooting for a team, I'm rooting for Tom Brady to lose. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It doesn't matter that he plays for Tampa anymore and not the uh not the Patriots, but yeah, he's won way too many Super Bowls. He doesn't need another. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I did last weekend. I mean, I don't think we really did that much. We cooked a lot on Sunday. Um, but, yeah, I... Oh, I... You know what? I ran errands. Um... I, cause I, I went out and bought that kombucha and I, um, the hiking shoes that I bought, mm -hmm. I, I was wearing them around the house just cause I was like, oh, I don't know if I need to break these in. But as I was wearing them around the house, I'm like, you know what? They feel a little small. So I'm like, I think I should go back and try on the next size up. But unfortunately they only had the next size up and wide. Oh. Um, so it was like a nine wide. Uh, so... I'm like, well, I don't need the wide, but I'm like, the length is better. So, yeah. um, so then they had to, they checked their other store and they didn't have it. So then they had to put an order in for me. Gotcha. But that so doesn't be worth long, it though. Yeah. I spent a long time at that store because I was trying on literally every hiking <laughs> shoe. Cause I was like, I was like, oh, well maybe, you know, maybe another brand will work or maybe like a different style or something. But every single one I tried on, I'm like, I just don't like it as much as the other shoe. 
Yeah. So. So yeah, so now I'm just waiting, and it's not like I'm in a rush. It's not like I'm going hiking anytime soon. Right. But yeah, it was part of my Christmas gift. <clears throat> So, yes, I bought those. Oh, watch out, he's gonna do his thing. Shoot, I thought he was gonna, uh, I'm so sorry. Run. Okay, jump, jump. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you totally did everything though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job. Good job. Well, I didn't mess up the easy part that time. No, it's not an easy part. So you even heard me say jump like a billion times too early. Jump like a billion times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay. Oh gosh. Ah, oh. ridiculous, but we did it. We did it. Did you notice at that time I got through the spiky cannon part and I didn't die? I did. <laughs> I mean, like I said, you did everything except the very end. I got psyched out when I can't see him. I'm like, oh my gosh, where is he? It's terrifying. Oh. Wow. Oh. Good job. Good job to you. <laughs> I still can't believe how quickly we got th through those two other levels today. Oh, I know. That was yeah. great. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why, uh, you know, the uh, speedrunners, it's probably why they're so good, because they played the same game over and over that they know everything that's happening. Mm-hmm. What's up with uh, Mario? I saw, uh, you know, just showing that they beat us and gained DK coins. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, also, Skeleton, because Skeleton said that the ghost part seems like you need the helicopter here. You actually don't. If you get, like, a good jump and, like, a running start with Diddy, you can make it. It's just you need more skill. Whereas Dixie's hair, it's like you can be pretty bad and still get by without hitting the ghosts. Yeah. Um, but that was good. We did it. Yeah. But you know, Rice, I was going to ask you if you wanted to, because it's, it's 742. So like we have more time to play. And I thought if you wanted to, that we could try, because there's still those hidden, you know, the little secret levels in this game that we haven't done all of. Oh. So I was gonna say, we have to get more of the crumb coins to unlock them, but I'm cool. Like, I would like to do all the secret levels. Um, how, where, I mean, getting the crumb coins is gonna be tough. I think that um, we just have to, honestly, I think we should just look up, like, you know, which, where the, like, mini games are hidden and stuff, so we can get the crumb coins. Um, so yeah, it might I'd take okay a little while. That. Yeah, it might take us a little while just to figure out where we can go. You know, I just want to say it blows my mind that that's actually a um, a ray, because like a stingray. Because for a long time I just thought it was like a weird like gelatinous goo that just swam. I don't know. Um, actually, pollution. I thought that's what it was too. I should have watched it better. Oh really? You still thought that? Yeah. I don't know, maybe Argus had said it was a stingray, and I was like, no, it's a goo thing. And he's like, no, it's... I think he told me it was a stingray. Mm. But, um... Yeah. No, I don't think I knew that. It's one of those things where it's, like, it's so ingrained, because, like, as a kid, you just think it's, like, a, you know, some weird green goo thing that swims, and so then it just sticks with you. Yeah. Are you doing anything interesting this weekend, Cookie? Besides, um, you know, getting ready for Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm getting ready for the Super Bowl. Um, I think... Um, Are you going snowshoeing? 
I might. It depends on, again, yeah, if there's enough snow and if, uh, you know, the lake effect is really bad. Also depends, like, because um, when I went snowshoeing this past weekend, my hip was kind of feeling weird. So it kind of depends on that, too, because I don't want to, like, make it worse. Um, Skeleton says that rice is yawning a lot. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, but are you doing anything this weekend, aside from snowshoeing? Um, we'll probably play a couple more things of Gloomhaven. A couple more, what are they called, scenarios? Oh, who am I kidding? I should be working on my movie this weekend. I'm gonna really oh. prioritize it, you know? It's been so long, it needs to be finished. Yeah. Well, so we'll probably play a little Gloomhaven. Um, I'm gonna be cooking a fair bit. We're gonna make a whole bunch of chili this week. Oh, okay. Uh, or next week, I guess. Well, we'll make it over the weekend. Um, making pizza. Oh, you know what? I um, I wanted to tell you that. So for the like, you know, we always cook something for dinner and then we eat it over like the next few days. Um, Same. So this this past meal that we've been eating was Argus's choice because. Each time we go to the grocery store, it's like, okay, you pick a meal, I pick a meal, and then we will make sure we have the groceries for it. So the meal he chose was like fancy grilled cheese with like fancy tomato soup. So I've never made it like tomato soup, so I made a tomato basil soup. Um, mm -hmm. And that was pretty good. Um, I There's a couple things I would change with the recipe, but I've never made it and I thought it turned out pretty good. And the sandwiches were delicious, so I mean, what a difference, like, from, like, plain old, like, you know, Crafts American Singles um, to getting, like, we used some mozzarella, um, Havarti, and Gouda. Um, it was really good. You'll have to make one for me sometime. Yeah, definitely. I mean, well, honestly, Argus makes the sandwiches. I was in charge of soup because, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm not patient enough with the sandwich, so then, like, it never gets that nice, like, golden crisp you know yeah oh, I gotcha yeah um yeah we usually for the week we try and come up with yeah usually like two sometimes three things to make it's so like this last week we made a um we made black bean burgers and we made a salmon pasta mm -hmm. and then we had it we thawed a little bit of split pea soup that we had in the freezer, and we also ate leftover salmon burgers that I had made last week. Um, yeah, so usually, like, we pick two or three things. And, like, since it's winter time, I've been trying to, like, make one of those things a soup, and then the other thing a solid food. Okay. Because see, Tiger doesn't like it when we eat too many soups. Okay, so... that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, so we're trying to... You know, at least make only one of them soup. Yeah. yeah. So since we're doing chili next week, that's our soup. So I just need to we need to figure out what else we're making for yeah. next week. I'm making um. Well, so I got a butternut squash from my mother-in-law because she she got like a nice. bunch of them for like super cheap. So then like every time I see her, she gives me another one. So each time I get one, I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? So. The first one I made butternut squash soup. The second one I made a like fall or like autumn shepherd's pie where like instead of mashed potatoes mm -hmm. on top, you do butternut squash. And then this time I was like, okay, well, I don't feel like having either of those. So um, we are doing like a, for Argus, I'm doing like a pulled chicken, like barbecue kind of sandwich, but I'm gonna like incorporate the butternut squash so that like between both of our, like, you know, I think it's gonna be okay. Like, it's gonna, it's not gonna be perfect, obviously, but, cause originally, like, when I do my, like, vegetarian, like, pulled barbecue meat, fake meat, whatever, I usually do, like, a mixture of lentils and, like, cooked carrots, um, sometimes jackfruit. So I figured, like, if I just add some, like, shredded up barnet squash, who's gonna notice? No one, probably me, I don't know, we'll see. But then I was like, well, but if I split it up between me and Argus, like, then it's gonna be even less noticeable. So that's the idea anyway. We'll see how it goes. 
Wayflish says Kim says to make soup with it. Well, she made soup with it the first time. Yeah, that was like, gosh, that was probably earlier in the fall. Um, you know, I have a really good um, pasta recipe that uses butternut squash. So like, you just roast the butternut squash. So you mm -hmm. cut it into little cubes and roast it, and then you toss it with brown butter and pasta. Okay. That we sounds really turkey easy. Meatballs. We usually make turkey meatballs to go with it too. But I mean, it ends up being more work than what you really expect it to, which is a shame. Isn't that but... how all cooking goes? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, so do you want to try doing the creme, cone, creme coin thing now? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good to do that. I'm not sure, do you think it'd be best if we started in like the second world? Cause it's more likely that we skipped bonus games, like the mini game things. The second world you say? Maybe, what do you think? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think we got them all probably in the first, or at least most of them in the first world. At least the ones we know about, because, like, those are the levels we definitely explored the most as kids. Yeah. Okay, so you think this is the first have... one? Yeah, too bad they... Well, the first level we might have already. That's what I was thinking, so maybe we'll start here. Yeah. I wish they had a thing on the main menu that showed you at, like which levels you had it and which you didn't. Yeah. Are you I, not going to get me? I, I will, but I think there's a secret. Um, I'm guessing there's something over there. Because the bananas oh, say is. so. Did we get I this like one? We, I think we might have, but we'll see. Okay. You're right. I think we did do this one. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Switch to me. I know. It's because I'm not using the Super Nintendo controller, so it kind of oh. threw me off. Because I was like, where's my button? We did get it. Yeah, Darn we it. got that. Okay. Well, we'll eventually find the ones we need. Well, Wayfish, I'll give you an update on um the yogurt because i've been making yogurt and so i've now made it i think i've done three batches um and the yogurt is very thin um which is a little unfortunate but um my next move so okay let me let me restart <laughs> so <laughs> So they say like your first couple times, it's never um, like, you know, your cultures are waking up, so they're not ready yet. Or, or like, you know, it's gonna be not as thick as when it's fully ready. So, oh. It's all right. Ah, yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought there was going to be a bonus game over there. That's all right. It was, you know, we got to explore everything. I'm going to get you. Oh, are you <laughs> kidding? Um, so anyways, so then on this third batch of yogurt, I did an experiment. So I made two separate batches. And one of them I cultured for 14 hours and the other I cultured for and the whole experiment was, if it's cultured longer, is it going to be thicker? The answer? Not really. Okay. It's going to be about the same. Uh, so... Can I not get that? You can throw me at it. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, so now I know that that's, uh, you know, that, that, that doesn't help. Do you think there's anything, like below where we are. I'm gonna assume not. There's no bananas that lead us that way. Oops. Um, so my next move with the yogurt is, I mean, I mean, I guess I have a couple options. One, I can live with a slightly runny yogurt. But then whenever I see CU Tiger get his yogurt <laughs> out of the container, I always get jealous. So I'm like, ah, see how thick this yogurt is. <laughs> And it's not like he even uses, like, Greek yogurt. He just uses, like, a, uh, you know, just, like, a Stonyfield regular yogurt. Anyways, um, 
That's suspicious. I would go back. I know. But I feel like it's one of those things where, like, maybe that's... Oh. Shoot. Um, so, anyways, my next move with the yogurt. This is this is taking me a really long time. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So my next move is to try straining the yogurt. So basically, you just take. I'm gonna use some of those reusable produce bags because um, that's what one of my friends use when when he makes yogurt. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna strain it for. I think I'm going to strain it probably for like six hours to start and then see how it looks. So basically, you you have your strainer, you have your, your filter that you're using, and then you put the yogurt in, and then the whey drains out, and um, yeah, and then, and then after the time, you just... Oh, we already got that one? I guess Bummer. so. And then you get nice and thick yogurt. So that's gonna be my next move, and I will keep you posted because if ever I go down to North Carolina, I can bring some for you. <laughs> and any viewers out there, in case you want some homemade yogurt and you want to start making your own, I can. If you happen to be on the way that's somewhere, so weird. I can get you some. But. Yeah, I'm I'm having fun with my yogurt experiments. I'm glad. <laughs> I think I I think it's really cool, and I I do hope it um, works out. Yeah. Well, and I also decided, and this is part of what got me onto this whole bagel idea. Was I knew, like I was looking into cheese today. So I'm like, how hard is it to make cheese? Turns out it's much more effort than what I want to do. <laughs> because you have to do the whole temperature thing. Whenever it involves a thermometer and keeping something at a certain temperature, I'm like, no. Too yeah. much work. Uh, so, yeah, so I decided no to the cheese, but I remembered that you can make cheese with kefir. So it's like kefir cheese. Basically, you Go just... Right. I know. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Start. Um, so basically, you just strain the kefir until it's... Was that a... Oh. I thought I saw a bonus game. On your way down, or up there? Up there. Hmm. Yeah, so basically you strain the kefir, and then when it's the desired consistency, you're like, Oh, I got cheese. But they say it's like kind of similar to like a cream cheese. Okay. There is a bonus game. Did you see it? No, it's I didn't. It's like the platform directly above us. Okay. So should I, I? I yeah, I can go. Oh, oh my gosh, that's okay. You're right there. Um. Yeah. So they say it's similar to a cream cheese. So I thought, oh, wouldn't that be good on a bagel with some of that raspberry jalapeno jam? that we still have from the summer that you made. Yeah. So, so that's why I'm like, that, that's what got me onto the bagels. Whereas Sea Tiger, like over the weekend, we were talking about, um, we were talking about egg, ba egg bagel sandwiches. Uh, I love and them. And I was like, oh, I'm like, that sounds really good. I thought you were going to die. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay, cool. Well, we got one creme coin. Is there any way to yeah. even check, like, how many creme coins you have? We have five. Oh, okay. It said when I got it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, so we're talking about egg bill sandwiches, and we're like, oh, yeah, that sounds yummy. So that was what first got us on bagels. Gotcha. Well, I and absolutely I love egg bagel sandwiches. I do too. And it's been a really long time since I've had one. I um I make them for myself on occasion. See see how it's a stingray? Oh wait, go back. I wanna see it. You see how it's a stingray? But what's the You're gonna die. What's the thing that looks like an egg yolk? <laughs> it's head. What do you mean? But what is that what's the indentation? 
What? And there's, there's like a circular thing? There's a circular thing at its head. Like, what is that? Where? Okay, so like you see its eye? Where, where are you talking? That's its eye? The little white spot? Yeah. The white spot is its eye. That's... Okay. Here, well, you see? You see? I, I mean, I see. I see. <laughs> it just doesn't really look like a stingray. Oh, no, it does. It does. Maybe you haven't seen enough stingrays. <laughs> Um, let me, let me Google. Where's my mouse? Okay. Cause, um, so stingrays, you know, they, where their eyes are, they've got like a little bit of a skull. Oh gosh, I gotta get out of here. Um, they've got like a little, like where their eyes are, it like, oh. it's like raised. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I see it. <laughs> And are you taking your time? I mean, I'm trying to. Um, cause we gotta find the games. Yeah, I was just checking. The thing is, it's so tough when I, uh, you know, I'm so restrained by this deadly, uh, you know, poisoned water. water. It's like, I feel like there must be a bonus game in these, like, upper areas, but I haven't been able to find anything. Yeah, try going right. Yeah. Mm. I thought maybe I could just follow the stingray. I thought maybe you could too. We gotta be able to get this coin somehow, right? Yeah, maybe you can, um... That was my idea. I mean, these two bananas here look suspicious. They do. I feel like you gotta get out of here. I was thinking the same thing, and, um... Okay. Well, we're halfway, so that's good. Oh, maybe there's something up here. Just bananas? Maybe there are no... Maybe there are no bonus games in water levels. There must be. I refuse to believe yeah. that. Bella, you know how the kefir cheese goes. I mean, I don't know how many more batches of kefir I'll be able to make because since I'm doing, since I do the powdered culture, it only lets you culture it like seven times or so. Okay. They say, they say two to seven. Um, so the batch I'm doing right now, actually, it's brewing. Um, it's my third batch. That's suspicious. There's definitely, I know we said this last time too, we're like, there's something up there. Um, maybe that's what? just the way we went. I don't know. I think this is just the way we went. Maybe it's just telling us which way to go. Yeah. Where do you get on guard? Like, I just don't understand these levels. I don't, I don't either. Cause I feel like I was trying to, you know, swim through things and it just wasn't working, you know? Yeah. Ugh. Uh. Maybe we'll uh, yeah, so give up on this level for finding yeah, I think that's a good idea. I just hate water levels. I especially just hate this one, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, but like a lot of them are bad, because a lot of them have lock jaws or the other scarier lock jaw. Yeah, so I'll let you know how the kefir cheese goes. I'm very curious. See how it is. I guess we don't really need lives at this point, but it's just, it's in my nature to have to, what? We're only down to seven lives. Maybe we do need no, lives. It's because when we beat the game, it kind of reset everything. I see, I see. So I'm gonna save. Yeah, may as well. We um we got a, at least one, one crumb coin. That's worth something. Mm-hmm. 
Oh wait, actually she might be able to help us. Oh yeah, she's got some hints. I saw something about cramp coins. Yeah, there, there, there it is. What? Lady, that's not helpful. We already knew that. It's all right. I mean, definitely, like, as we went through the game, we were getting less and less of the the bonus games. Yeah. Because we had to switch to survival mode. That's always the way it goes. Just gotta mm -hmm. keep our eyes open. Should we bother getting Kay? Con? I mean, it gets us lives. So I would say, like, if it's, like, on the way and not gonna make us lose our health. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I already told you, Cookie, but I've been reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Yes. And I'm I'm making good progress. I'm about halfway through. Okay. Actually, I think I'm technically like 60%. Because Libby tells you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So Libby tells you your progress and it tells you how much longer you have to read through. It's like, oh, you've read for this many hours and you're on track to finish in this many hours. I which see. I think is kind of cool. Yeah. Is, um, um, well, what do you think about the book? Do you like it? I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm just gonna say it's much longer than I expected. Okay. Uh, because I thought it was gonna kind of, like, I mean, not that the other Hunger Games movies or books are short, but they're not, like, this long. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, so I, I feel like it's just, you know, kind of, not dragging, but... It's just... I don't think you can kill them that- oh, just kidding. Hey, wait, did you see Tell that? Me. Did you see that? There's see a- there's a banana. See down there? Oh, I do. We're gonna get to it with this. Good eye. Yes, we definitely did not get this. No, definitely not. Yeah, I could see that with this- with that book. Um, cause I enjoyed it, but, um, yeah. cause like, I thought it could have ended after the first two parts, but there's three parts to the book. So I was like, why is it still going? And for so long, what's the first part? The first part is, um, I think it's before you meet or it's, um, before the games start. Oh yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Cause if you're listening to it, you're not going to pick up on the three parts as easily. Um, I mean, you still do. It's broken up into sections like that. Yeah, I think the first part is like, yeah, it's all about meeting the tributes and stuff. And then the second part is the Hunger Games. And then the third part is like, you know, after the Hunger Games. Mm hmm. I don't think we'll get Kong. That's fine. <laughs> in this one. Unless we go back. It's not important, is it's, it? It's, no, it's not important. If there's a creme coin in it for us, then I would say it is worth it, but there's not, so. Okay. Zapper's here with the hype elephants. Hi, Zapper. We, you missed Hi, us Zapper. beat the game. Yeah, we beat it. Um, right now we're going through, and our goal is to do all those bonus levels. Um, do you think there's another one over here? It's worth a shot. I guess not. Ooh. Um, <laughs> we're making a making crowd. crowd. Yeah, because we, we haven't done the bonus games really before, so um, that's our current goal: is just to unlock them all and and play them. But we gotta raise creme coins because we don't have enough. Yeah. So we're trying to find all the bonus levels that we usually skip because we're like, we don't have time to waste on this. Yeah, we're trying to survive. Mm hmm Which is always a good goal, but, um... 
now that we've beaten it, we can go for these extracurriculars. Yes. They need to play through the whole game just to get the ones you miss. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Basically. We also don't know which ones we have or haven't gotten. Um, I mean, like, we'll probably end up looking things up online at some point. We could start now. Yeah. If you want to look up, I mean, honestly, like, I would start with, like, maybe just, oh, are you kidding me? I just died from the rat. I was going to start looking it up, but I guess not. Uh, but I was going to say, maybe we should start looking with water levels, because neither of us think we have done a bonus game with, or not a bonus game, a, uh, yeah, yeah, a bonus game, sorry. Um... I don't think the water levels have them. Well, I'm gonna try. We'll see. Too bad I didn't get that in. That's right, yeah, we don't need that on. That was gonna... It would have given us another... Would have given us another life. I'm gonna skip that. Hopefully this one just had one creme coin. Um, according to this Wikipedia article, most levels have two to three. So... What? We've definitely missed some. <laughs> Red Hot Ride Creme Coins. Not Jenkins, stupid. Autocorrect. Are you kidding me? That's it? Just bananas in that room. I was really hoping- Why? It takes you through the whole level, so you skip everything? Okay, so it's not just bananas. I was wrong. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, don't do that next one where you automatically went to. Cause that's- that's the boss fight. Oh! You know what? In Red Hot Ride, there was a, um... There's and a bonus can, level. We can go back. Where you destroy them all. Oh, okay. With Rambi. Oh, you have to charge it a wall. Of course you Typical. do. Typical. Why Why didn't we even try that? That's... I don't know. That's what Rambi does. Now I feel stupid. But that's alright. Yeah. Well, at least it's the first half of the level. Yeah, yeah. Because we can always start we select. Can. Yeah, we should do that more. We should. Okay, skip in the K. We don't need it. This is very reminiscent of, like, I remember in um, Super Mario Bros. Wii, we had, like, just kind of blazed through a lot of levels, and we weren't worrying about getting the three coins per level. Um, but then we realized that we should be getting them, so we went back and we're like, okay, where are the coins? It's the same yeah. thing. Basically, yeah. Hopefully, I didn't have to go back. Yeah. Oh, but right. I'm afraid that maybe I did. You think you missed it already? I think it was back, but we'll see. I can always go back if. I don't see anything to run into. If the balloons let you. Oh, you're right. No, it's, this it's is, right This here. has got to be it. Beyond race, I meant to tell you, because last time I was all like, oh yeah, we're going to play... Um, why can't I think? Um, like Zelda Ocarina of Time. 
And so like we did play it once, but then after that we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna play it again before me and Rice stream again, and then we didn't. I feel like I keep making promises like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna play this and then it doesn't happen. So I'm gonna try not to accidentally lie so much. <laughs> okay. Ugh, why does it cost two coins every time? I know. No, we could get to 100% in the game. Wow. I've never even... I mean, me and Argus were planning to go through this game and do that someday. But, um... I don't know, I figure if we're getting all these creme coins, and if we're playing to beat those lost levels... Yeah. I, I, I think, like, what else do you even need besides, like, the big DK coin for each level? To get a hundred percent. Yeah, we would need that too. <laughs> okay. So I just pulled up Lava Lagoon so I can look to see if that one has creme coins. There is a bonus game. I figured. Looks like there's just one, though. Okay. I don't know why they make these so- I mean, I do know why. Never mind. <laughs> why do they make them so hard to find? Yeah, do you know what level this is called? No, I keep not looking at the names. I That's still can't believe- dash. Bryce, what? I can't believe that, you know, the trick I discovered was just holding the jump button and it solves all your problems. I feel like we've been playing this game, like, my whole life on hard mode. Yeah, or it's like- <laughs> playing Mario games without holding, you know, the one button to run. Yeah. Oh, I think we Maybe. did this one. I think I think we did it too. It looks familiar. I mean, I could just let myself die. But just in case. Was that it? No. There it is. What is this game called? This, this level? level? Whatever. That's fine. Just gotta be observant. We can find them ourselves. No, we can't. <laughs> hmm. Oops. You should cartwheel him. Somehow I feel like this treasure chest must be important. Hmm. So important. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right too. That was the bonus game I had I had done. So you, you know, that was nice that you fell and we could make sure. Squawks shaft. Okay. Um, I think you have to throw me into this barrel. Okay. Ugh, I really thought there was gonna be a bonus game there. 
It's t so it says to the left of the star barrel. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, you know, there's those barrels that have a star on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I think, like, that one. That's the one I'm assuming. Okay. But I'm assuming not that particular barrel. Yeah. So there must be another star barrel somewhere. Does it, t yeah. does it say where in the level it is? No, it just says left of the star barrel, the Kongs must use team up to enter into an auto fire barrel, which blasts them left into the bonus barrel. And then there's a destroy them all game too. Okay. Shortly after the letter N is a destroy them all game. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, here's halfway, so I think we should be coming up on the end. There's the O. Is that... Okay. That lets us know where we are. Oh, squawks. Yeah, I wonder, can you go down? No, you can't. I was like, can we, like, backtrack and go down? So it says... Shortly after the N, you'll come across two of those little birds. Yeah. And then two crooks. I don't know what a crook is. And then those are directly just... above. Okay. Are those a crook? I didn't think so. I was gonna guess it was just like the regular um, sailor alligator thing. Okay. But well, maybe crooks. that's. Well, there's two the N. Here. Okay. So shortly after the end, you're going to come across two birds. Two, uh, mini neckies. Oops. You're in. Okay, there's the one, two. You have to kill the one on the right. Okay, and then is it like over there? Um, continue right, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna kill this other one, uh... Yeah, it's fine. Just to be safe. Oh my gosh, look at this. Who even knew this existed? Not me. Not me. Oh, look, the DK Ooh, coin. DK coin. All right. Where is it? This is the real. To the right. There it is. <laughs> so you said that there was once the. Like... You said there was once the left of a star barrel, though. Like, is that earlier in the level then? Yeah. Okay, so I guess. That's annoying. Hmm. Knowing they have to go all the way back down. Oh gosh, that was a trap. Oh, so we probably didn't get it. We probably should just start selected. Pro no, I think that you do get it. Because I know with the DK coin, it counts as being gotten. It's like we still got those two, like I got two coins at the end and those coins okay. are still there. And we did get eight. That was our eighth coin. Okay. No, not that one. That's the one. Do you want to do this one again? We haven't gotten the one with the, um... Next to the star, or the... Yeah. Oh, but we're at halfway. No, we just gotta beat it. Or fall. Or fall, that works too. Oh. Careful. <laughs> Falling might not be the best move. No. Um, so maybe we should just beat it and then go back. Okay. So was that the last one in this level? Like, there's nothing later on? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. I wonder, um... 
Did it say what kind of bonus game it was? I just want to make sure that, you know, we didn't already do it. You just have to find the, uh... You have to find the coin. Hmm. Well, I, I did the one, didn't I? No, but not that one. Not that one? Oops, wrong way. No, because there's three in this level. I see. Whatever. We'll just pass it. Oops. I mean, we can move on to a different level if you want. Yeah, I'd rather. Okay, that's fine. Um, so to a new world? Yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe this isn't worth it. Maybe Zapper's right. Does Zapper say that? Basically. No, I think he's just saying it's gonna be a lot of work, but you can do it. <laughs> no, but they ha <laughs> No, they posted a face that's like... <gasps> <laughs> I, I think this is worth it. I mean, if you don't enjoy it, then we can uh, we can stop. I'll just be a little sad, but that's okay. Yeah. You're on a lot. Sorry, Skeleton. <laughs> and Zephyr says you basically have to play through every level without the one. Oh, without the exclamation point to get all the bonus levels. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it, Cookie. Maybe it's better that this game just has its secrets. Oh man, I just saw a centipede on the wall. It's like, uh, no, just kidding, it's a spider. Is that worse, better? I'm not really sure. I think it's better. Gosh, I'm wondering if I should get it now. Argus, could you get it before it climbs too high up? <laughs> it's it's one of those things where like if Argus is sleeping, I will suck it up and kill a spider myself. But if he's awake, it fell. It fell it's even yeah. worse. I know. So he's still alive and just yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. No, I do the same thing, like, if you tiger's home, and there's, I mean, usually if there's, like, a small one, I'll kill it myself. I'll figure out where he felt. Oops. But if there's one that's, like, really big and gross, and he is home, I'm like, hey, see you tiger, can you kill this? Yeah, it's... And Zapper says, on to Donk 3 with a hype <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Which I think I'm right there with you. Aww. Is um is Country Three on Switch Online? It is. That was totally a bonus level, by the way. Where? You just pass the platform that's in the middle of that that has a cannon. Oh, I know, but I don't know where the cannon is. Mhm. Mm it's okay, Argus. Oh, I found him. Oh, you found him? Good. Yeah. Can you, uh, yeah, let me know how this I this light for me? Yeah, where am I holding it? Just up here. And... You get to be in on the action. I know, yeah. No one ever thought uh, they were gonna get to see this on stream. <laughs> Only you don't actually get to see All anything. Right. Argus <laughs> killed it! Hooray! Good job, Argus. He's so brave. Well, I think we might want to stop there, and then we'll just, you know, do Donkey Kong Country 3 next time, or maybe watch the premiere. I mean, only if the premiere... The, I'm not going to guarantee it's ready, because, like, while I think I can finish my parts this weekend, Argus takes a little bit more convincing to work on it, so... We'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're okay with Country 3 next time? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, and like I said, because me and Argus are planning to 100% this game someday, so... You could do that on stream. We could. We actually, we had started it a while ago, but we were only in, like, World 1, so... <laughs> didn't get very far. Um, so yeah. yeah, we might. 
All right. Well, thank y'all for All watching. Right. Thanks for watching, and we'll play Donkey Kong 3 next time. Yep, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yes. All right. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye.